been six weeks since Helene altered the landscape and the lives of those in the mountains of North Carolina. Meteorologist Chris Michaels was at Freedom Trail Elementary days after the storm, and he now shares the other side of their story, the long-awaited return to the classroom. It was Wednesday, October 2nd. The walls of Freedom Trail Elementary full of names. 15 students had not yet been accounted for. By the end of the day, some much needed news. All of our kids are safe. They're accounted for. Now, smiles as teachers like Caroline Turner and the principal, Emily Dellinger, open the door for class once again. Well, it's kind of the first thing you hope to do when you see those kids. Lots of hugs. Yeah, lots of hugs. High fives. Welcome back. Hugs and high fives they've missed in recent weeks. Did you ever think that you'd be out of school for, for this long when, when you knew that Helene was coming towards you guys? Not a chance. No chance. My goodness, Chris, they canceled school for that Thursday and Friday, and I thought, well, that's silly. And then here we are, what, 28 days later. In that time, Turner, Dellinger, and so many around them have been hard at work. The need is still great in Avery County. After all, Turner tells us that the landscape was altered by Helene's historic rain. And that's a lot of places. They're trying to push the rivers back to where they were originally so they can rebuild. The returns to school, not without challenges. This dynamic duo has been doing home visits to check up on the kids they love. People are rebuilding their homes, so they need things like sheetrock, contractors, electricians. People are now living in campers. We've got some families living in campers, and so how do you prepare for winter? At the school, they prepare for what feels like a new school year, giving the kids a space to learn, but a space for life to feel normal again to build a relationship that no storm could destroy. Just because the kids are so excited. Um, we had one that came just a few minutes ago to pick up some things that her house was destroyed. And she just, you know, she runs up, she gives you a big hug. Turner and Dellinger have one final message to be shared nationwide. Just thank you to everyone that has reached out to us. I mean, we could probably name someone in most states. Reporting, I'm Chris Michaels, WRAL News.